What is good, Cardi P1 on the channel? It's your boy, Baba Lamb. I don't know how many people were in here right now. It still says we got zero, but I can see the chat. But today we're talking about a specific topic that we have discussed so many times on this channel. And I think that there were certain people who got wrapped up in the equation who owe me a fucking jailbroken Nintendo Switch. If you're if you're watching the live stream or clip, ugly god. If you don't give me that switch, I'm gonna switch up on you. Okay? You either give me the switch or I get you with the switch. In my pocket. Gun control. No, I'm playing, I'm playing. He don't owe me anything. But this conversation started because academics and Adam 22 on academics podcast off the record. It's actually a pretty solid conversation. We've discussed this because of so many times that we have talked about how smoke perp, like people think I'm legit just hating on him. Of course, like we trolling, we trolling. It's, it's, it's all fun and games, right? But some people just deserve the clownery or the trolling and they're acting like they can make a certain comeback. And like, look, I, all the power to you. If you want to, like goddamn Willy Wonka, <laughs> hire up some Oompa Loompas and reopen that chocolate factory. But when you act a certain way, you're deteriorating the chances of you actually making a comeback. And I'm just spectating here, commentating on the likelihood of somebody coming back based on such actions that look fucking corny. So, uh, Ugly God was wrapped in this equation. Or, or this conversation by academics because he recently posted on his instagram we'll actually check it out but i believe the he posted like a snippet trying to gauge interest in his new music which he has not dropped in so long like i remember it was like i think 2020 i was in miami with uh, a certain roommate um and he dropped like a music video or something it was an independent release though ugly god has basically been independent this entire time which is another reason why he isn't to the same level or never was really like he had an actual soundcloud banger that was independent whereas everybody else like lil pump was low-key an industry plant smoke perp kind of rode lil pump's wave even though smoke perp helped catapult lil pump they work together regardless of what you think though uh let's check out that snippet by ugly god i believe that it has Let's see, a million views or so, almost, almost. He got 896K. I'm not gonna sit here and say that his popularity hasn't gone down during his break. I mean, it's almost like a Lil Sky situation, right? It's not like he, I don't know, his music was bad and just like was whatever. Like Smoke Perp, I just feel like he kept dropping and like he became less and less relevant because the music just wasn't it. Ugly guy just has not dropped, which is in itself, you know, his own fault. But I think he would, you know, he would own up to that. People are saying that he was depressed. All the power to him. I've talked to him about it. Mental health, health. Like sometimes you just gotta, you gotta take care of that before a business. Because if you're not on this planet wanting to live life like Larry, then what's the point of making money? But regardless, 896k still down from where he once was but we'll see what happens he should drop music because i am keen to see what actually happens but now let's get to what academics and adam 22 said so then i can respond to that first of all what's the chat saying twisty p's behind me <laughs> yo twisty p might be a ghost soon with the way he's acting because uh you know somebody might catch him but let's see what Ax said the flop that was just like, and I I'm mean, really they all like, are. yo, niggas is pussies. They all are because, dude, like, you know, like, like the be like the best thing that Perp could do if he wanted to revive his career is to drop a fire project, right? But if he drops a project that he thinks is fire and it sells a couple thousand copies or whatever in the first week, then that's just like the yo, most the negativity he's Perp ever gonna do. get. That is the uh, closing of the casket of his career, which I think has already occurred. Like, I don't know how many times he's smoke perp and like Namir are relevant for getting clowned, which is kind of working in their favor because like truly falling off is like nobody's talking about you. But if they're talking, I mean, would you rather be talked about, but in a negative sense, or would you rather just not be talked about? Personally, 
I'd rather just be completely ghost and nobody talk about me what, whatever, whatsoever and nobody clown me. But I don't know. To each his own. Dude. Yeah. The best thing he could do and all of these guys, like I think Ugly God's about to get active again. Mm. The best thing, and, 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 and I would tell him. So that's why Ugly God got back. You know, he, he even responded. We'll check out his tweets too. This, whether publicly or on, on the phone with him, none of them will listen to I guarantee it. Mm. That ego y'all used to have is dead. It's over. Like right. you guys' career is just not at where it's at. You could be delusional. You're not selling shit. I will watch all your analytics. Y'all all have been losing millions of Insta. Pump lost like four or five million Instagram followers. Damn, I didn't like, even know that. Ugly guy lost like a million and a half. Like, bro, like shit isn't like we're not gonna pretend like this is where y'all dropped that big hit. But when you Here's say something like that, it's like, how could I? All right. So, conclusion of the story. We're just not in the 2016, 2017 era of SoundCloud anymore. Now there were two points. One was, what can these people do, these rappers, to not fall off? They could drop good music or they could just slowly die off, go do something else. As I've told Smoke Perp, like you probably got so much money like rappers lifespans are only five years within the like career spans i mean not like i mean well with the way the feds be taking out young thug and all these atlanta rappers roddy rich just got arrested shit maybe like more than just careers but just take the money and go invest it into a business or real estate like i don't i don't know what but like your music isn't going to be popping for more than five five years why do people not talk about Ugly God fall? We just we we just did. Basically, he did it to himself like Lil Skies, but it isn't because the music was bad. But in itself, like still, I do think that he low key became less relevant. And I'm trying to be like, I don't want to be a douche doucher because we are cool and he knows that. But he did become less relevant, but he, he probably knows that because he stopped. Like he just got out of social media, but that's that's just what happens. But secondly, he was talking about uh, how they can't have egos, but all of them literally think that they're going to make a huge comeback. Like Lil Pump and Smoper, but Lil Pump has been working on Lil Pump 2, which is like the sequel to like his greatest, most selling is what I'm talking about. Not necessarily quality wise, but like highest selling album for like four years. I think all of these rappers are scared to act. And, and this goes for like a lot of the rappers um, in the upcoming generation. And, and mind you, a lot of the rappers that we talk about now, like in the Yeet, Sofago, I'm not saying them specifically, but in this generation, it's going to be the same shit like five years from now we're going to be talking we're going to be i'm probably going to be in a podcast format not necessarily just a stream because you know we build in like that but there's gonna be a lot of rappers that you know are still on social media chirping back saying like they doing shit doing shit. no bro you selling quadruple paper plates bro but as i was saying um they're scared to drop i mean it's almost like, and, and this is a completely different scenario, but I think we were discussing with Hello Yassin, Uzi is, it's not scared, but like apprehensive, or he's doing double takes to drop his album because he wants to make sure that it's solid because the last album was Eternal Take. People had negative emotions towards it, but just to the most extreme degree, I think Lil Pump and all these other people, like they don't know how to drop anymore because their hype has died down so much and they were such a part of a trend that now that that trend is over, like they're probably going to sell less than Yeet. And that's a terrible, terrible look because then the whole social media is going to be like, damn, you went from selling 100K to uh, like 15. Like, look what happened to Lil Skies. He went from like 60 or 30, I don't know what it was, to the last album, like 11K, bruh. And now everybody's like, they don't give a fuck about Lil Skies anymore. If Uzi brought you in the studio, I will tell him what's fire and what's not. That's what everybody says. But the thing is, I wonder who would have been in the studio before he was actually popping to tell him what was fire and what was not. Because 
You don't really know what sounds good until you've already heard something like it before. You know what I mean? Like the general public doesn't know what they want until they have it. Like when Uzi was recording his mo mumble rap, like moaning shit, at the time people could be in the studio and be like, what the fuck is this? Cause it was so different. But then when it catches on, like then you, you start, you don't really get used to things till after the 10th time you've seen it or, or heard it. That's why you gotta, you gotta give some guys who don't get as much recognition a chance. There's so many gems I've discovered this year and some of the saturated moan. Oh, it's none of the saturated rage moaning beat. That's true. I mean, it's just it's just with trends. If Lil Pump hot take started doing his publicity stunts and posted them on TikTok and got it reposted, he would be talked about like crazy and he could advertise his music even if it is bad attention. Yes and no. I agree with you, but TikTok is actually also like if he sh posted vids of him shooting guns outside the window like he was before or like popping zannies and shit like TikTok would not approve those videos. That's why it went down on Instagram and that's why it was such an iconic era because it was just so ignorant. People were like, what the fuck is this dude doing? Tatting Gucci on his chest, tatting dumbass broken hearts the the soundcloud era right now is going to be the broken hearts era act like you are an emo uh depressed rapper that takes hella drugs but also gets hyped like no dude if you're depressed you i know we have different emotions sometimes you're hyped even if you are depressed but regardless all that fake depressed shit was was whack it made kids nowadays want to be depressed thinking it was cool these 14 year olds in high school and whatnot Redonkulous. But um, also with TikTok, uh, he would he would one be banned off TikTok, but two, I just don't think that he wants to do that anymore. Like I don't like once you've made I don't think Lil Pump and Smoke Perp or any of these people they were actually they were just trendy music, but I don't even think that they actually were ever that good at music it was just a trend but two like they never perfected their craft like the music was never the forefront of the brand so that's why they fell off but the ones who stuck like trippy uzi cardi x juice world etc etc the one that had like actual uniqueness to them they stuck around and they really killed shit. But even some people who like the music blew up, it, they just blew up like too high for them. Like we talked about how Lil Yachty is just not at the same level as he used to be. Like I wouldn't be surprised if uh, he's gonna have to get some like big features or something, but and he very well might cause he signed a QC and he's really tapped in, but you know, he's still consistently selling like 30K with his albums. But then a Michigan boy boat, like he tried to do something. And I understand that it, Detroit, Flint, whatever, Flint flow, Michigan, that's not that widely even appealing type music. But it sold 11K, man. Like you can't, you gotta, you, you gotta do things that the people want. Like that's a very small portion, but he did it out of the love. So, you know, you can't judge him for that. Will Drake really drop another album? Drake's falling off. He's a SoundCloud rapper, bro. And no, Trippy Red did not fall off. He just sold like 60 some K with Trip at Night with a fucking Rage album. You, we gotta realize that Rage nowadays really isn't that big of a, a genre. Like, you know, we, we're like a huge echo chamber. Not a huge, we're a small echo chamber that make ourselves look huge. But it's really like this leak community like music enthusiasts in the underground is actually pretty small. Like who's the biggest underground rapper? Is it like Jace? Can Can? Because Sofago and Yee have already upgraded. I'd say Jace is like top of the underground right now and Can Can as we've discussed. However many followers he has, me is uh, probably around the same amount of people who are in the underground community. There are probably some mainstream fans that randomly Came across him as well so we'll you know 
maybe less than that, but there are a bunch of people in the underground that don't follow Jace. So I'd say it's around like 150K, maybe 200K of people who follow the underground religiously, maybe even less. Noir super chatted $2. What Balam? Shout out Noir. Tyler the Creator definitely didn't fall off. And I don't know if he's part of like the SoundCloud era because he was he was in Odd Future before 2015, 2016. I remember listening to what was it like Goblin or some shit, but he he was before he was before that, and they had like a whole different movement. That was a whole movement in itself on the West Coast, and he's not underground. <laughs>